Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a deck and export it to Tabletop Simulator. Uh, just as a heads up, I'm not going to show you like all the mechanics behind building a deck and whatnot. I'm just going to show you how you can just gather cards and then export to Tabletop Simulator. So here I use Tapped Out to build my decks. You can use any other website. The only requirement is that you have to be able to access all your cards by name and be able to copy and paste that. So. To build a deck, you can simply click on up here, Deck Builder, go to Add Deck, so you add it, uh, create an account. So for me, I already have an account, I can log in. Uh, once this lets me log in, uh, let's go back, add a deck, bam, you can add a deck for what it is, you can see random things. Uh, standard format you can choose whatever format you want to play I do EDH and this also checks it against the rules and whatnot so it'll tell you whether it's legal or not uh, add a description so if other people find your deck or if you want to show it off people know what it is and here is where you add all your cards so I'm gonna build, just start out with an animal one so it goes through auto fills you can select any kind of special stuff if you want add it but um, for exporting it make I think it's better to just start out plain and then customize it once we're out of it so here you can see it added animar that's my commander for EDH uh, once you're done with all of this simply have all your cards then click save and continue uh, but for me I've already built the deck so let's go to my inventory I'm gonna select one of mine then go to that so here an example Here's my Animar. So you can see it gives you a nice little breakdown of all your deck, uh, what cards are in it, and the man current mana cost spread. Um, if I wanted to, I could do like how do I play this deck, uh, what updates I've made to it, and people can comment and whatnot. It's pretty good. Um, also, here you can see legality. This deck is EDH legal, so it's nice knowing that. But what we need is to download, export, whatnot, uh, go to this dot text. Uh, once you do that, it automatically downloads it. Click on it, as you can see, it comes up with a list. So this is one way you can do copy, copy this, and then head on over to Frogtown. Frogtown is where we're going to build our deck. Um, here you can see you can search for cards, what um, whatever it's called. Um, types for your card like uh, yeah so here we're gonna actually build it or name our deck Animar so let's go Animar um, once that done you can go to bulk add add all your cards all right once you're done just click submit bam all your card here uh, if you want specific cards to like show up off to the side or be separate, so like for EDH, I probably want that for my commander. Um, so let's go find my commander. So Animar, right here. Simply click this button, it toggles it to the sideboard, and now it's on your sideboard. What's special about that is that it'll show up separately from your deck. It'll be on the side, so, basically, so you can find it more easily. And then also, if you want this is where you want to customize the type of cards you have so like specific um, generations of cards you can just click on it and creates a new photo for it or loads that generations card so once you're done with this once you have all your deck imported in here and whatnot um, you can simply export tabletop simulator now you have to wait for it um, but this site's really cool because it's free and it's provided by a really cool guy. Um, also, it's what else is cool about it is that it shows how many cards are in your deck so you can make sure that um, you have the right amount and that you're not missing anything. And then once this export is done collecting and saving all those, there's the Save to tab Tabletop Simulator deck. So if you simply click that, it'll download a file. You can see it down here, it's a JSON file. Um, we're going to show it in my finder. Um, this is what we're going to need to use. So let's open a new window. 
uh, head on over to my documents. This is where a lot of my games just save a lot of folders. So um, for Steam, there's going to be this My Games folder. So click that, uh, go to Tabletop Simulator, go to Saves, Saved Objects, and then here is where you can access or store your deck. So let's change this. Let's rename it to Animar to deck and I'm a two deck whatever drag it on over here so now once it's in here it should show up in tabletop simulator so let's close this and open up tabletop simulator press play I'm gonna play now wait for that to load uh, for Mac, there is a slightly different way. I didn't want to go put OBS on my Mac. It'd probably be really easy, but here you just have to open a Finder window for Mac, and then go click on Go. Go to Go to Folder. Once there, add this path. It's a hidden path, so you won't be able to find it. So just add this for Tabletop Simulator. Once you have it downloaded, um, after that, go to it. Here you can see similar stuff to what was in um, for PC. Go to saves, go to saved objects, and then bam, all your cards should load there. Um, nice thing about Tabletop Simulator, it syncs across all your devices. So if you load your deck onto your PC, it'll show up on your Mac too. So that's really cool. Um, other than that, you could also do this direct route if you wanted to. Just copy that go there um, and then that should be it for Mac it, there's literally no other difference besides how you get to it but make sure they're there you can select it scry search for all that so tabletop simulator is pretty cool and you can search sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so worldly tutor world so there it is you can find it it's pretty cool all right here are some shortcuts that you need to know for tabletop simulator so so you can see it's hard to read, you'd have to like zoom in, do not like do anything. You can click Alt and it creates this nice little increased image size so you can see it. Uh, to If it's still too small, you can just simply keep holding Alt and then click the plus button, the plus equal button on your keyboard and it increases the side and then to reduce the size, do minus and it's really cool. Also, if you don't like the size of your cards, you can also increase the size of those using the plus button. You can also shrink it using the minus button. It's really cool. Um, there's also M, which is for the magnifying glass. You can just be like, oh, okay, I don't want to use Alt for some reason. Just use this magnifying glass. Um, if you want to shuffle, you just have to press R and it automatically shuffles for you. Um, if you want to rotate, so you want to tap your cards, you can simply E and Q, and then control the amount it rotates. There's this is rotation degrees up here, set up to 90, so it's perfect for me. Um, if you want to flip your cards, it's just F. Um, also, if your cards are all spread out, whatnot, you can simply select them all, press G, and it groups them back together. Um, for some reason, you want to have a player be blinded, press B. You can no longer see. Press B again. Bam. You can see. Um, if you want to like ping, just tab. Select tab. Really cool. If you want to measure, <laughs> there's that option too with tab. Uh, just go over here and click F1 if you want to go back to your pointer. Um, if you want to be annoying, just flick. Just flick everything out of the way. Uh, but other than that that's all you really need to start playing uh, you can also one more thing go to components uh, you can load dice so if I want d6 d20 color um, if I want just random things for like tokens like a hey, I want my elementals so I'm gonna use this tree end oh my god it's huge Oh god, still have run grab. But yeah, there you go. 
What's really cool about that is that you can just show that you're attacking, dying, and I don't know, it's really cool to just have little things move. Um, you can also get random themes from the Steam Workshop and download it and load it in here. Uh, those should just automatically add and show up. Uh, they should show up under table. It should be there. If not, um, might be backgrounds. You can do other random things. Just look around. Saved objects. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. All right. Peace.